We are on to the Fenway Bowl. Thursday morning, December 28th, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern on ESPN. Uh, this one, you know, we head up to the Northeast for this. We get to watch a future AC Steam matchup uh, where SMU travels to Boston to take on none other than the Boston College Eagles. Uh, this is another bowl game with a little home cooking in the matchup. SMU currently favored by 11 uh, with a total of 50 at BetUS. Uh, SMU only got backups in the portal from everything I'm seeing, uh, everything that I have read. They want to make a statement since this is going to be an ACC conference opponent going forward. Uh, with BC, you know, there's a few backups in the portal. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, there's several starters that are dealing with injuries uh, in the secondary, uh, along with the uh, the wide receiver O'Keefe and the uh, the tight end uh, Tackix. Uh, they are out with season enders. Uh, SMU, 0-3 straight up and against the spread in their last three bowl games. Uh, BC is 1-8 and straight up and 2-7 and against the spread in their last nine bowl games. Uh, they just they never do well in these things. <laughs> but, you know, this is the first game that Halfley is actually going to get to coach in. Uh, that bowl against Boise uh, got canceled due to, like, lightning a couple of years ago, whatever. Uh, SMU, they won their final five games of the season. Uh, they won the AAC championship. They uh, they went 3-2 and two against the spread in those five games. Boston College uh, lost their last three. They didn't cover any of them. They just kind of tailed off towards the end of the season. Parker, let's start with you. I don't feel like SMU's defense gets talked about enough. Uh, Scott Simons, their defense coordinator, has done just a knockout job with these guys uh, for Rhett Lashley. And and they've got just a bunch of guys coming back next season. Uh, I guess, like, the question would be, is is Thomas Castellano in Boston College, uh, are they going to be able to run the ball at all? Um, it, if they if they are, they might be able to hang here. Because I don't think SMU's offense is, is dominant with Jennings at quarterback. Uh, but I'm curious what your numbers say here. What, what have you got on this? Yeah, I kind of mentioned that during our preview of the AAC championship where I talked about how Preston Stone wasn't worth a whole bunch against the spread because this SMU team, despite kind of your, you know, the Royal you, yeah, not you, Gary, d- despite our <laughs> preseason kind of conception of like, oh, SMU runs a fast offense and they're really good at offense. Their offense has been bad this year. 65th in EPA per play, 32nd in EPA per play on defense there. So great effort by the uh, by SMU's defense. And man, there's a couple games early in the season that I think they wish they could have back uh, looking at this. And, and it is a little bit disappointing. I mean, they're moving to the ACC. They should get a little better. But golly, you go out and win your conference for the first time since, you know, the death penalty, basically. And uh, you get rewarded with a trip to Fenway in December. It's not as uh, not as glamorous a bowl game as I think they were hoping for, uh, especially with Liberty kind of edging them out there in the uh, in the New Year's six. Um, yeah, I think the run game for Boston College is is super important. One shout out to just a Hall of Fame name backfield. I don't think we've talked about the 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 duo, the buddy cop comedy of uh, Castellanos and Robicho. Like that's just a great one two name uh, combo there in the backfield there. And I think Castellanos um, kind of had a breakout, but the last couple of weeks, you know, the run game wasn't as important it really looked like Miami just kind of said hey we'll let you get your we'll get your get your runs like do what you want that's fine it doesn't matter and we'll take care of everything else and I'm wondering if SMU can't also do that as well and kind of say hey Castellanos you know what we're not going to let you beat us um uh, by running and getting away from us we're going to say yep you, you can get some of your runs but we're going to try to really make you pass the ball uh downfield he's not been awful at the pass game but uh he's certainly not his strength especially when you can kind of put an option in there as well he's a 70.2 uh offensive grade but most of that is running his pass grade on the season is down to 58.4 and i mean there are some rough performances there against you know in games they won and he ran well syracuse you know uh, a, a, a 66 run grade, a 38 pass grade, uh, army, a 67 run grade, a 33 pass grade, grade, Virginia, 60.4, uh, running 44.2 passing. So, I mean, they can really, really spread you out. Uh, if you could just limit the damage in the run game, limit those explosives and, and make him pass. I think that's going to really, really feed into SMU here. It's clear to me why they're a double digit favorite, especially with the opt outs as well. I will note that SMU's defense 71st in EPA per rush allowed, but uh, 21st in rushing success rate allowed. So, uh, you know, if you can just limit the damage there on Castellanos, I think you could do a lot against this Boston College offense that's 70th in EPA per play here. Yeah, this is that the number getting up to 11 kind of scared me a little bit. But when you really look at these two teams, uh, I mean, the number kind of makes sense. Kyle, you know, typically when you see a G5 team against a P5 team, uh, even if the G5 is favored, it's not by more than, you know, just a few points, maybe a touchdown. Uh, with this one being over 10, uh, again, 
it, it you look at everything and it, it looks right. But it is in BC's backyard. Uh, SMU is good. And they got more talent in BC. Uh, Kevin Jennings, you know, starting the bowl game. Uh, he looked okay against Tulane. He did throw two picks. Uh, what is your initial breakdown here? What what do you see on this ball game? Well, Scott Simons has done a really good job everywhere he's been. You know, he did a really good job for Liberty. Um, this is a guy who knows uh, scheming and defense very well. Uh, I didn't expect them to be this good defensively. Uh, obviously, nobody really expected them to be this good. Um, having said that, SMU consistently was very good defensively. It wasn't kind of a one-off. It was over and over. They were 12th in yards per carry allowed. They were fourth in overall success rate allowed. Boston College, a lot of running backs and wide receivers in the portal, they run the ball at 60% flip as far as their offensive plays. I don't really think they can run the ball here on SMU. Can we really trust uh, Castellanos uh, and the passing game in this one? I don't very much. As far as the other side, SMU, Jennings had turnover problems in the two-lane game, had some good moments as well. I don't think he's a bad quarterback. Uh, probably not as many big plays. Um, Fenway Park, early kick. You know, we don't really know what the weather will be a week out. I will say, it's funny, um, one of the weather sites that I was looking at last night had 25 miles per hour wind and rain, and now they have 15 and, and no rain. So, I mean, who knows? It's going to change plenty of times between – um, now and then, but it's a late December day in Boston in the morning. You have a decent chance of there being bad weather here. So um, what I like most in this one is the under. I think that this could be a, a game where there's a lot of running. I don't think Boston College gets a lot of big plays. SMU, if they get a lead, I think they'd be happy to run the football. So I'm going to take the game under 50 here in this one. I uh, I, I could I could see that. I could I tend to agree, as the emoji would say, right? Uh, let's lock this one in. Kyle taking the under 50 here. Uh, last year, it was Cincinnati and Louisville, and that one went under as well, and it was a lot of what you just talked about, Kyle. Uh, Louisville got up, and they just ran the ball, and that's kind of, I mean, same color scheme, right? <laughs> so uh, so Kyle is going to take the under 50 on this one. Under 50. 